questions, probably not many that we'll be able to answer, but we'll do our best. All right, I'm going to take my math off, mask off. We are uh, properly distanced here, uh, just so you can uh, hear me a little clearer if that's okay. Again, my name is uh, Captain Sean Washington. I oversee the Special Operations Division within our police department. And I'd like to give you a brief overview of the uh, shooting incident, officer-involved shooting that occurred tonight. Today, Thursday, April 1st, 2021, two Fremont police detectives were involved in an officer. Yeah, I was going to say, I don't have a radio. Okay. Yeah, it might, it might need to mute. Uh, no, 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 it's, uh, it's your phone. Can you, can you tell your recorder to mute your... Can you turn your... Mute it. Yeah, I just, do hear just, something. Oh, no. Yeah. Okay. All okay. right, there you go. Right. Thank you very much. All right, that's all right. We'll hit the reset button here. <laughs> so on Thursday, April 1st, 2021, two Fremont police detectives were involved in an officer-involved shooting. The incident occurred in the parking lot of the Hyatt Place located in the 3100 block of West Warren Avenue. Since the beginning of 2021, we've unfortunately experienced a sharp increase in gun violence here in the city of Fremont. In response, several units within our department recently established the gun violence reduction team. Today, the team was surveilling a well-known suspect with several outstanding felony warrants who is believed to be in possession of a firearm. At approximately 6.25 p.m., officers located the suspect. They attempted to make contact and take him into custody. When he refused to comply, the Fremont Police K-9 was deployed. After the deployment, the K-9 after the deployment of the K-9, the suspect uh, presented a firearm. During the confrontation, two Fremont police detectives fired their service weapons at the suspect. Field trauma care was provided to the suspect. The suspect was pronounced deceased at the scene by paramedics at 6.35 p.m. This incident will be investigated by the Fremont Police Department as well as a parallel investigation from the Alameda County District Attorney's Office. Unfortunately, this is another example of the impact of gun violence that our nation has experienced over the past few months. We value the sanctity of every life. However, we're very fortunate and happy that our officers are safe. Like Geneva said, we'll take a few questions. This, inter this, this investigation is very preliminary at this particular time, so I may not have all the details um, to pre present to you. So I hope you understand that as we take a few questions. There's still a lot of work that we need to do back at the station. So like I said, we're gonna limit the questions just to a few. Captain Washington. Is that you, Joseph? Yes. All right, how, you how doing? are you? Uh, could you? Could you just uh, tell us a little bit about um, the unit was surveilling, you said, a well-known suspect. Tell us a little bit about what this person was suspected of doing. Yeah, well, the, he had a lot of felony, uh, outstanding felony warrants. And so I don't have the specifics of the crimes that he was wanted for, but we'll have that information uh, soon. Was anyone with the suspect uh, when he was encountered by police detectives? To my knowledge, he was alone when, when, when the confrontation occurred. And the person who is dead is the suspect you guys were surveilling, right? Uh, I, I don't have confirmation on that, but uh, they, they did confirm that the person that they were surveilling uh, matched the description and it was the suspect. And I think we actually did get confirmation that that was the suspect we were looking for. But again, we have to get confirmation obviously through the coroner's office of the identification. Did it, did it happen outside or was there any, any kind of scene inside the hotel at all? Uh, not to my knowledge, everything happened outside. Who was the, the gentleman that was let out in handcuffs um, as well? In a I have no knowledge of that information. That's news to me. I have no idea who that is. Captain Washington, you said, um, just, you said, I'm quoting here, you said, during the confrontation, two Fremont police detectives uh, fired their service weapons at the suspect. Um, 
after they released the canine, and then after the release of the canine, the suspect had pulled out a handgun. Correct. Pulled out a gun of some sort. And then you said during the conversation. So what what happened in between there? Was there some sort of escalation to lead? Like, did he pull out a gun immediately and point it at the dog, at the officers? Or can you just explain a little bit more about the confrontation that you were Yeah, the with? sequence of events, I do know the canine was deployed before the shooting. And at, at the time that the canine was deployed, that's when the suspect produced a firearm, and that's when the officer shot him. Okay. Do you know if the suspect was from Fremont or somewhere? I don't have that information at this point. Captain Washington, a lot of hotels in Fremont, you know, your officers and your different units stake them out sometimes for different kinds of crimes, some more serious, some less, like school burglaries, prostitution, things like this. I've heard some from some people who work here that this, you know, tool burglaries out of work trucks and stuff, that's what's more common here. What what kind of uh, commonality would you, or I would say, how common is this kind of investigation at hotels around Fremont, what was happening today, you know, following somebody with several felony warrants? Well, I think there's, there's a lot in that question, but this particular group of detectives were specifically following this individual because he was suspected to be armed with a firearm. So we have a unit now to respond to all of the gun violence that we've experienced in this city and the nation's experience. We have that unit that's uh, dedicated to following up on these type of crimes. This is now the second officer involved shooting in Fremont in what, a week? Eight days. Eight days. Any words on that? Any concerns about that? Yeah, I'm very concerned that we have individuals out there in our society that want to uh, take on and kill our police officers. That's the concern. And obviously, um, we, we believe that there are a tremendous amount of illegal weapons out in our community that are causing a lot of these uh, shootings and gun-related incidents. All right? So that's all we're going to have for today. Um, Geneva, uh, you want to yeah, brief gonna, them on the follow-up? You know, our protocol is that um, I don't have anything super fancy to say. Just that, um, you know, tonight we're providing a scene briefing. We always try to do that fairly quickly after an officer involved shooting occurs. We know that that's very important as a department to do that, to share the information. Our protocol is that within about 48 to 72 hours, we're going into a weekend, probably Monday would be the next time that we have another update. Um, that update is usually very short. It would include the, the information about our, the suspect, and um, possibly the, the release of our officers. We always weigh the safety um, before we determine if we're going to release the names, but we, you know, in most cases we do. So that would be the expectation. And then following Monday's release, we would look to about seven to 10 days from the date of the incident to release a more detailed report, which could also include video. You know, I, I just, remind, I, I should probably ask this to the captain, these are just very preliminary, but were there any in officers injured? No, no officers injured. No officers. And then what's standard protocol now? Are those who fired now going to be on some sort of leave? Yeah, the standard protocols um, associated with officers invo involved shootings will be uh, uh, administered in this point. So just those two officers or are there any, uh, any other officers who fired as well who are also going to be on? Yeah, the information we have right now was the two officers. But again, we're very early in the, investi we're very early in the investigation. And so um, we can have confirmation for all of that. But right now, all the information we have is the two firing officers.